Hi, I'm Dan from Eightfold Property, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about if you want to have pets in your rented property. Now, I prefer pets to people most of the times. This is Boris, and this is Nelly. I even had a giant African snail called Melissa. And if I wanted to move into a rented property, the first thing you've got to do is ask the agent if they're allowed in the property. And you get certain properties where it's allowed and some where it's not. For instance, sometimes the big blocks, the ex-council blocks, they will have a covenant in the lease that says that you're not going to be allowed to put a pet in there no matter what. So that'll be straight out the window. In most rented properties, you should be able to, if you can convince your landlord that you're not going to be leaving the pet alone for a long time, you should be able to have the pet in there. So you've got to make sure that your pet is going to have the right level of care. Uh, if it's a dog, you're going to have to want someone to come around and make sure it gets let out during the day uh, if you're going to be out working all day. Uh, likewise, if it's a cat, does it come in, does it go out, um, has it got uh, a cat flap? At the end of a tenancy, it's not necessarily going to be whether how clean you are or how your pet is, but the person that's moving into the property after you may well be allergic to your cat or your dog or your guinea pig or your rabbit or whatever else you've got in there. So it's really important that you make an agreement with your agency to say that you're going to professionally clean this and you're going to get a flea treatment come in. We have in the past seen people who've left and there's been some dormant fleas in there and then you have a two or three week period over the summer where it's void. The next tenants move in and all of a sudden the place is jumping with fleas. So it's a kind of common courtesy for you to just get in there and give it a proper clean top to bottom at the end of each tenancy. We have at times had people sort of move into a property and then we go around for an inspection and then quite clearly there's cats or dogs or anything in the property. It's, it's really not a good idea to do that because some properties just are not suitable. You might have people upstairs who are, who are dead against it. There might be a covenant in the lease, as I said earlier. So it's really important that you get the permission from the agent who will then go to the landlord and get you written permission that you're allowed to have this pet in the property. So three things that you've really got to know. One, is the property suitable for your pet? It's the most important thing that I'm going to ask when I'm moving in the house and you've got to make sure that it, your pet is suitable for this property. Two, is it allowed to be in there? Um, are there any covenants against it? Is there any specific reason that the landlord isn't going to let you have the property? And three, are you going to have suitable care for the pet whilst it's in the property? I.e. if you're going out to work for most of the day, have you got somebody coming in to look after your pet? I've been Dan from Eightfold Property and I'll see you on the next video.